Yeah, I've got a couple in mind right away. Uh, the first one that comes to mind is Aaron Hicks in, in New York. And, you know, I don't know if this one makes a ton of sense because he's got, uh, even if he's hurt, he's got a pretty good deal for the Yankees. I think he's making 10 million bucks a year. He's controlled for three or four more years. Uh, and the Yankees aren't exactly, you know, they don't have a glut of outfielders, but he's a switch hitter. He plays center field. He plays center field just as good as anyone else you have in this organization right now. Um, and, you know, maybe he makes some sense for the organization to, to go out and you probably do have to give up, you know, a, a pretty decent prospect to go get him just because of what his contract looks like. But if you're not willing to, you know, pay an exorbitant amount of resources for Brian Reynolds, I think Aaron Hicks is at least an interesting poor man's Brian Reynolds, some of the same skills um, the switch hitter, the, the center fielder, I, I, he would be one that I would keep an eye on, but another one that I kind of like, and I, I want to look into pitching because I think pitching is where you can get a pretty good deal. What about Caleb Smith over mm-hmm. in Arizona? Caleb 30 year old. Smith. Yeah. Yeah. He was with Miami. What's really, really good with what's really interesting about that, Joe is Arizona is that team that needs to, you know, cook or get out of the kitchen. So Mm -hmm. they're a potential aggressive seller if they get the right teams calling. And, and, uh, you know, I, I expected a little of that in November and we didn't get that, but maybe they were just anticipating the CBA, maybe changing their situation, or maybe they were waiting for teams to call. But, uh, uh, Caleb Smith, uh, you mentioned he's, uh, uh, he's a lefty. What is he about 29, 30 years old? Yep. 30 Uh, back. He's been uh, back in 2018, out of the bullpen, right? Really good. He was really good in 2018 and pretty good in 2019. And then he's kind of fallen off a map since then. And he's been working out of the bullpen in Arizona. But, you know, the guy, he had 56, uh, 56 innings last year, 59 strikeouts, over 32 appearances. He pitched to a 1.15 whip. Uh, uh, for what ERA is worth, it was a 2.7 ERA. Mm-hmm. They had him stretched out, uh, working long outings. Uh, I think if, if you want to go out and take a chance and uh, you know, go acquire a Caleb Smith and insert him into um, kind of a hybrid role instead of a Tyler Anderson. I think that's the type of guy where you could get more out of the player than what you're buying, especially if you're willing to pitch him in four or five inning spurts. I, he's just one. Mm-hmm. He, he's one that makes a lot of sense for me. It's a four pitch guy. Uh, fastball, curveball, slider, changeup. It's mostly slider changeup off the fastball. Um, 90 to 93, if I remember correctly, um, is Caleb Smith. I believe he's, hang on, let me pull it up, Caleb Smith. Hey, it's Jason Churchill. To get the full episode, as well as every other episode of the podcast, Past and Future, subscribe for as little as $5 per month by going to bit.ly slash get the pod. That's B-I-T dot L-Y slash get the pod, all one word, a link you can also find on my Twitter profile. Hey, thanks for checking out Baseball Things. Cool.